Secondly, why are you doing it? You know, most people go to work and they work with other people. I go to work and I work with a horse and falcons. They're my colleagues. Well, this isn't a job. What I'm doing today isn't a job. And I can tell you, if I won the National Lottery tomorrow, I'd be here next year doing this show. I'd just do it for free. Because I love what I do. And I've already won the lottery. I don't mean the National Lottery. I'm not rich at all. But I won the lottery of life. And the reason I say that is that I found my passion and my interest when I was a little boy. And I was encouraged by my mum and the people that I socialised with who helped me. So when you've got that passion inside you, you don't need lots of money. I don't actually want money. All I really want is somewhere to live. One guitar, I'm quite happy with a guitar. And a beautiful horse and a bit of food. But why do I want speedboats and racing cars and swimming pools and fancy, I don't want that. I'm happy doing this. And this is what we're all brainwashed to think. You, me, and everyone else, you need to get that. Every time you turn on the television, there's an advert. You've got to buy that, you have the latest this. It's a total and utter false thing. Don't be sucked in by it. Find something that you love and stick with it. And I want to just say to the kids who are here, and there's quite a lot of these kids here, this little girl, these kids on the back, the, the, the young lad there with his blue top on, and these girls over here. Let me just tell you something, you kids. If you want to do something, go and do it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't, because I tell you what, you can. You can do anything you want. The reason I say that is when I was 15 or 16 at Mealscop High School in Southport, the careers officer came to me and said, Marshall, what are you going to do for a job? And I said, I want to ride horses and I want to fly falcons. That's all I want to do. He said, you want to forget that. He said, you want to start thinking about your future, boy. Get your hair cut. Start taking life a bit more seriously. He says, and you want to get yourself a mortgage. And one day you'll have a company car and a flashy suit. That's what you want to be, boy. You want to be like me. That's what he said. And I remember thinking, you are the last person in the whole world I want to be like because he was going around all the schools in the Northwest, bursting kids' dreams, telling them what they can't do and that they have to conform and they have to do that. What a load of nonsense. I want to, in my shows, for the half an hour or so that I've got your attention, I want to inspire people to follow their heart and their dream and what they want to do. Because if a kid like me from Southport can have such a wonderful life and enjoy what I do so much, then you can do it as well whether you want to be an astronaut, a professional footballer, or the next Prime Minister. So all you kids around the arena, find something that you want to do, and do it. And don't let anyone tell you you can't. Okay. I've got that off my chest, but we can carry on with the show. Okay, we're going to have a fanfare, because we're bringing out the birds of prey.